welcome back to my channel. On my quest to showcase how people live and design their homes, we head to Hell's Kitchen in Midtown West to meet a New York City creative living in just 120 square feet of space. Hi guys, are you ready to see the tiniest apartment ever? This guy, Tony, reached out to me because he saw my last tiny apartment tour. And who would have guessed that it's in the exact same building that he lives in? He reached out to me and he wanted to give you guys a view of what it's really like to live in a tiny place and furnish so you can kind of see how everything is laid out. What did you think when you saw that video? Well, I had a pretty good idea of the space. My apartment is actually a little bit bigger than the space that you showed. It is. But um, I think what was most interesting to me was the comments that you guys were leaving. I mean, it was like everybody was thinking that these are really hard spaces to live in. So I was really wanting to show you yeah. what it would be like to move into a space like this and to like actually like live in this space. Tony is going to give us a more in-depth tour of everything that he has in his place, how he decorated it, and all the information. And hopefully this is some inspiration for you guys because Tony found my channel by looking for inspiration of tiny apartments, specifically under a certain amount of square footage. So for you guys that say you don't know why anyone would be looking for it, he was one of those people looking for inspiration. So hopefully yeah. this would be inspiration for maybe one of you. Let's do it. So I am a creative living here in New York City and I dabble in pretty much almost everything creative, but um, my main passions are photography, interior design, as you're gonna see a little bit of that today. And um, I'm also really into fashion and things of that nature. And how I originally moved to New York, I was working in the entertainment industry and I had a job that brought me here. And at that time I actually lived in New Jersey, which I really loved. And I decided that I wanted to move into the city and get a little bit more of that real New York experience. The million dollar question. Everyone wants to know, why on earth would you move into a tiny apartment? Okay. So I moved into a tiny apartment because initially I was living with roommates in Washington Heights. I decided that I wanted to move downtown. So I began to, I started looking at places that were in the village and in Hell's Kitchen. And I really wanted to find a space that I could leave my own imprint on. So I wanted to be able to do what I wanted to do with the space, not worry about who was cleaning what. And so I just decided that this amount of privacy and this amount of space was just right for me. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna show you this side of my tiny apartment. So we can start off with this lamp. It's just like the classic Ikea lamp, sort of modern. And as far as like the paint color, um, I believe this, the top paint color, I think it's uh, Silver Chain by Benjamin Moore. I think that's what I have on the wall here. Um, and I had that up for a little while. And then after a few months, I decided that I really needed a pop of color into this gray. So I added the, the yellow, um, the yellow square here to kind of like give me a faux headboard. The bed, I decided to go with a twin size bed because I drew a lot of inspiration from either like tiny hotel rooms or even sort of um, like Asian, uh, Asian influence, like Tokyo homes and stuff like that. So I, I, I wanted to go with a smaller, a smaller bed. Um, so, cause I decided if I'm gonna go for a small bed then I better go for luxury. So I do have like actually a nice twin bed, <laughs> if, that, if, you know, if you can imagine that. Um, the comforter I got from Target and of course, as they always say, the bed is where the magic happens. <laughs> but in this space, the magic is actually the storage. So the bed is where the storage happens, right? So most of my really nitty gritty stuff, I actually store here on the bottom underneath the bed. And here's where I keep all of my like winter clothes, um, additional comforters and blankets for the bed. And I make this really accessible so that I can just slide things out whenever I need it. I decided that I also wanted a pop of color here on the window seal. So I went ahead and put some plants to create some organic shapes in the space because everything is very square up until this point. So I went ahead and I added some plants there and I've got my little, this actually, this little head statue is from Ikea, but I'm telling you I bought this in like 1997 and it's moved from LA, from apartment to apartment with me. I've had that thing forever and I just keep finding reasons to put it into my new spaces. So the windows I decided I wanted to keep as much light in the space during the daytime as possible to sort of bring up the energy in here. So I chose blinds that go all the way up to the top. So I really loved, and it accentuates the ceilings. So we have high ceilings. I wanted to really make sure that I accentuated that in this space because it is so small. I'm just trying to like play up everything that's really great about it. 
Um, so I pulled up the, the blinds all the way up during the day and during nighttime, I kind of bring it down to get a little privacy from my neighbors. All right, so now we are actually on this side of the room. And one of my big, like small, tiny apartment tips is that almost every element in this apartment has some kind of storage. So like, you can't be afraid to like find cute things that you can use as storage. So I got this huge dresser and I believe this is the mom dresser from Ikea. And I just wanted something that had huge drawers that I could basically just like tuck every way, everything inside of. I see most of the items in here are dark or black. Why did you decide to do that? One of the reasons why I chose a lot of like dark elements for this space is I feel like as I've gotten older, I really kind of wanted something that kind of, it's, it had a, a designed element to it, but it's sort of like, a uh, slightly masculine touch. Previously, I was always about this sort of white minimalist look, but I really sort of embraced how um, rich colors really look good in a small space. And I think people tend to go the opposite direction when they're in a small space and want everything to be bright. So yeah, I went darker for most of my aesthetics in this apartment. Um, I'm big on aromatherapy and candles and having all that kind of like spot elements in my apartment. Yeah, we, so, we walked in and it was like, a freaking candle shop right or wafting of lavender right so i actually have this little uh diffuser this little oil diffuser that i really like i like that it's, it creates again we have all these square shapes here so i wanted to start adding some elements that are a little bit more organically shaped um another one of my tiny space tips is that you kind of have to blur the lines between what's the kitchen what's the the bedroom space what's the office so this is actually sort of my office space but it also doubles as a landing strip for when i come into the door so i have like a little dish here that i put all of my keys and headphones and stuff in when i come in and then i often eat at this desk i do my work at this desk so this is definitely like a multi-function area so i wanted to make sure that i had things that were really like mobile that i could take the keyboard out that i could take the mouse out and i can actually like open this space up so that i could eat here or do a little bit of entertaining here if I wanted to. But for the most part, this is where I do a lot of my work. The desk itself, I actually bought this from Target as well. It was another Target find. This is actually a vintage, like a Herman Miller uh, Ames rocker that I picked up and I've had this for a really long time. And again, like when you have a space like this, you have to start thinking outside of the box. This can't just be the office space. So I actually have tucked away here my little laundry bin that I keep all of my laundry inside of so that I actually have a, a, a space for my laundry that's sort of connected to my closet. In a great coincidence while we were filming this video, we found out that an apartment downstairs was becoming available and it was twice the size. After going through it, he decided to move into this apartment. You can head over to his channel where he's starting his journey of decorating and getting to know his space. We're just judging this up for you guys. You know, every time we press record, make sure it looks very presentable. I mean, he's clean and neat, 10 times cleaner and neater than I am, but you know, <laughs> we gotta look good for you guys, right? All right, so he's gone through most of it, but this was the part that I was most excited to see in person. I saw in the pictures that you sent me, I knew that this was a mini fridge and this is a microwave, but I'm wondering why you didn't put like a shelf here so that this is more than enough space to create a breakfast bar where you can put, you know, like a, what are those called? Those burners? Yeah, it's sort of a little induction top. Yeah. So that is actually kind of like in the, in the works. So I just want to find something that I actually like the way that it plays with the other heights of the other elements here. So I do want to put something like a countertop, maybe even like a stainless steel cart or something like that right. in this space and maybe a little induction cooktop like that just sits right on the top. I actually am even thinking about putting one of those sort of peel and stick subway tile backsplashes against the back so that it kind of really creates some definition for the space that goes all the way across. When we're talking about cooking, right? Like you don't have a cooktop. You told me that you have a meal service, right? So you yes. don't really cook that much. Here's the thing. So most of the time I actually have to be at work really early in the morning. I'm at work at like 6.30 in the morning. So I usually will have breakfast either at work or on the way to work. And I usually, for, for that, I'll do like an acai bowl or a smoothie or something like that. So I'll grab that to go. Okay. And then I'll have my one of my freshly meals for lunch and another for dinner. My favorite thing in this apartment, when I saw the photos that he sent me, because when he emailed me, he sent me the photos of his apartment. 
But this little deep wall decal here, it just makes such a big difference. These ceilings are super high and adding this in the middle, I thought that was super cute. So what made you decide to do that? Again, I just wanted to like play up exactly that, the high ceilings, right? Yeah. So I wanted to like create something that sort of had a, a big statement in a small space. And where are the decals from? Where did you get them? Um, I actually bought these on Etsy and okay. it's a store called the, the Lovely Wall. That's where I actually picked up that decal. I think that's a good segue. I don't think he knew I was gonna say this, but my friend here has an Etsy shop. I do, I do. He is a designer, one of his many pillars of creativity. <laughs> he is a designer, he makes t-shirts, you make masks. Tell us everything about that. The name of my Etsy store is called Pop Gangsta. And that kind of like really encompasses the whole aesthetic of my brand. A lot of my merchandise is a music artist, music driven or sort of fan driven. I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite pieces from the Pop Gangsta collection. I did a really cool Free Britney shirt. And as you can see here down the sleeve, it actually says Free Britney. Um, and on the back, it actually says Stronger Than Yesterday. So this is actually one of my like best selling pieces. I think it's really cool. Um, I like everything sort of like distressed and painted up and I do all the designs myself. And this was actually one of the first like sweatshirts that I designed. So I got my girl Janet here and this is like a Janet um, control era sweatshirt that I really love. On the sleeve there is actually a control button, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, those are the, that's my favorite pieces from the Pop Gangsta line, so make sure that you check it out. Support. He needs yes. money He needs money to pay rent. I need money to pay rent <laughs> in this tiny apartment. Like, hook me up. All right, so I know a lot of people are disturbed about the idea of me not having a kitchen or an in-house bathroom, but what I found actually to be the most disturbing was that I didn't have a closet space. <laughs> So I actually was able to sort of hack that pretty well and improvise with the closet space. I pulled in a, a wardrobe rack that I thought looked really good and it fit really perfectly in this space so that I can actually like open the door. Um, and most of the stuff that I keep here is things that I wear every day. So this is the stuff that I like have a really high frequency of use, all of my stuff that I wear to work, um, a few of my shirts that so that I can show them to people and all of my like really frequent wear. So I actually swap things out of here pretty often so as we mentioned, the bathrooms in this building are shared. And I know what you're thinking, but it's really not that bad. All of the tenants that live on this floor have a key to the bathroom. And it's super easy, super convenient, and it gets cleaned three times a week. I'm going to show you what it's like. So I got pretty lucky with this particular bathroom because I only share it with three other people. We keep it very clean. Everybody just brings their stuff in when they need to use it and takes it out. We don't have any traffic coming in and out of here. The bathroom stays locked. We've got some pretty minimal touches in here. We just got it very simple with hand soap and some soap in the shower as well. Everything in here, again, stays pretty clean. We bring our stuff in, take it out. It's super easy. I was so happy Tony gave us a tour of his apartment but I wanted to get a sense of how he actually lived in his space. So I went back another day to film his evening routine.